In this next video on ozone, we're going to talk about the 10 pass versus the high dose ozone. So if you've ever done IV ozone or talked to anyone who's done IV ozone, most definitely they've referenced the 10 pass. The 10, the 10 pass has been the most common version of, of intravenous ozone, has certainly gotten to be the most popular. And so there's another option called high dose ozone, which is basically the same thing as 10 pass, but it has certain benefits and it's the reason um, why high dose ozone is a little easier to do and we're doing in our office. So there's a simple explanation for 10 pass versus uh, high dose, and we can compare the two. But first you need to understand a little bit about what 10 pass means. The reason why it's called 10 pass is when you do high dose ozone with 10 pass, you actually get 10 different passes of your blood. So as I've mentioned in the other videos, when you get ozone IV, we draw the blood out, then we mix the blood with ozone, then we give the blood back to you. Well, there's only so much ozone you can put in the blood before you give it back and it's kind of saturated, so to speak. So the 10 pass method basically does that where it takes the blood out and gives it back in 10 different times. And you have to work your way up to it. You can't go straight to a 10 pass. You have to do one pass then two pass and work your way up to eventually get to 10 passes. So the downside of the 10 pass is, as we'll see here, is that it uses more blood. So going through the chart, the first step is the 10 pass, because it has to take blood out 10 times, it uses two liters of blood. The high dose ozone uses less blood. I actually had to correct my chart and edit the video, but um, the 10 pass uses two liters. The high dose blood uh, ozone uses 0 0.6 liters of blood or 600 milliliters compared to 2000 milliliters. And the reason why is because the highest dose version of ozone, you actually have to do two passes, each pass being 300 milliliters, where each pass they do is 200 milliliters each, 200 times 10 is two liters, 300 milliliters times two is 0.6. So the amount of blood that's exposed to the ozone is a lot less, but we've learned that you can actually saturate more into the, the blood without killing off the blood cells, and it's, it's very safe to, to do this dose. You can't do 140,000 to um, three, 300 mils of blood. It would be too much. So the amount of ozone that you would get in a 10 pass is, a, is considered to be around 140,000. It's not perfect. This is estimation. So it's around 140,000 ozone uh, gamma. The, the high dose version is also 140,000. So they are the equivalent for a lot less blood. We have to use heparin each time we draw the blood out and put the blood back in because blood likes to clot in IV tubing. So you have to add heparin. The good news is when you only do two passes, you only have to do 3,000 units of heparin. You don't need to do twice as much. The, the other downside of the 10 pass is that it uses much more expensive equipment and it takes a lot more time in the doctor's office typically. And so, or at least, I shouldn't say more time in the doctor's office, more hands-on time in the doctor's office. So the cost, generally speaking, around the nation is one to $2,000 per ozone treatment. And whereas the high dose, you can usually get the price down to $500 to $1,000. We have a membership-based practice, so our, our prices are, are on the lower side. Uh, and the other improvement with high dose ozone that you can't necessarily do with 10 pass, although you could, is that we do ultraviolet blood irradiation, UVBI, and we'll talk about that in one of my next videos, but the UVBI is not typically done in 10 pass, but in high dose ozone, you actually get four different passes through the UV light. And the reason why is because as you're taking the blood out once it passes, as you put the blood back in, you get another pass through the UV light, and then we have to do that twice to get the same dose as 10 pass, so four different passes through the ultraviolet light. The time in the office is about the same, it depends on the equipment, depends on the patient, but it's around two hours. Some people have to go slower and it takes three hours. So there are definitely advantages to either treatment and depending on your physician, he may have a different opinion, but the high dose ozone has been considered to be equivalent to the 10 pass with a lot less effort and a lot less blood back and forth. Um, next video we're gonna be talking about is what I just mentioned, UVBI. What is ultraviolet blood irradiation and light therapy? That's next.